Good evening. Good evening. Welcome to the worship of God on this Monday Thursday here at Danville Congregational Church. Tonight we acknowledge the land our house of worship rests upon, the traditional unceded lands of the Ohlone and Bay Miwok people, and we are mindful that this land was sacred before we ever set foot on it and made it our spiritual home. Friends, tonight we gather and we remember. We remember that to be great is to serve. We remember that Jesus came among us as a servant and that to follow him is to love and to serve one another, just as Jesus loves and serves us. No matter who you are or where you are on life's journey, no matter whom you love or what your body looks like, know that you are welcomed in this space, this circle, by the deep spirit of love that we call God. We begin tonight by offering one another the peace. So my friends, peace be with you. Let us greet one another and pass the peace of Christ.
please join me in the call to worship. We gather with the dirt of the day on our hands, our feet, and our hearts. We, come we gather with the disciples, preparing to come to the table, yet surprised once again by Jesus. We gather at the basin to be washed and at the table to be fed in body and in spirit. We, come to receive we gather in awe of the grace demonstrated in Jesus kneeling to serve. We Our first reading tonight is from the book of John, chapter 13. Hear these words. Now before the festival of the Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart from this world and go to the Father. Having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. The devil had already decided that Judas, son of Simon Iscariot, would betray Jesus, and during supper, Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands, that he had come from God and was going to God, got up from supper, took off his outer robe, and tied a towel around himself. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel that was tied around him. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered, you do not know now what I am doing, but later you will understand. Peter said to him, you will never wash my feet. Jesus answered, unless I wash you, you have no share with me. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. Jesus said to him, one who has bathed does not need to wash except for the feet but is entirely clean, and you are clean, though not all of you. For he knew who was to betray him. For this reason he said, not all of you are clean. After he had washed their feet, had put on his robe, and had reclined again, he said to them, do you know what I have done to you? You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, for that is what I am. So if I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have set you an example, that you also should do as I have done to you. Very truly, I tell you, slaves are not greater than their master, nor are messengers greater than the one who sent them. If you know these things, you are blessed if you do them. When he had gone out, Jesus said, Now the Son of Woman has been glorified, and God has been glorified in him. If God has been glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and will glorify him at once. Little children, I am with you only a little longer. You will look for me, and as I said to the Jews, so now I say to you, where I am going, you cannot come. I give you a new commandment, that you love one another, just as I have loved you. You also should love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another.
Our second reading is from 1 Corinthians chapter 11. Hear these words. For I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus on the night when he was betrayed took a loaf of bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, this is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup also after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. You may be seated. Jesus spent his life teaching us the meaning of love. Through word and deed, Jesus showed us how to love God and look around and how to love one another. Jesus fed the hungry, he healed the sick, he invited women and children and tax collectors and sinners to come to his table. He broke bread with the least and the lost, and he shared the cup of redemption with them all. He crossed boundaries of race, nationalities, ethnicities, 
gender and class. He challenged religious authority and he scoffed at pomposity and self-absorbed grandeur. He brought a simple message. Love God, love each other, and love yourself. The way of Jesus goes through the cross, but we are not there yet. It's close. We can see its shadow. We can feel the cold, dark night. We know that the enemies of God are conspiring. He threatens their comfort. He threatens their way of life. He threatens their power. And they will come for him. First, though, we will gather. We gather with Jesus and his closest friends. We gather with those who called him teacher, rabbi, friend. We gather for the Passover meal to remember that God saved the people from slavery. God saved once and God saves forever more. And so, my friends, God be with you. And, and also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to God. Let us give thanks to God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. Holy God, who through Jesus invited us to allow bread and wine to feed both our bodies and our spirits, may all that we see, all that we touch, all that we taste, lead us into communion with the God who is both beyond and within the God whose embodiment we share. Spirit of God, surround the bread, surround the cup, surround us here and elsewhere. Bless us in our eating and drinking. Bless our connection near and far. No matter if close or distant, our covenant with God will keep us together. May we spend this time remembering, remembering the ones who are with us now, the ones who can't be at the table, the ones who have felt excluded from this table, the ones who are no longer at the table and the one Christ who created this sacramental table experience. Amen. Amen. Jesus the Christ has created a realm of love for each of us, for all of us, one in which we will be reunited with loved ones, one full of sacred memories, one in which we are assured of God's comfort. It was a night full of teachings and memories. Undoubtedly, there were some tears shed and probably some laughter. This was the night before Jesus died. And so we remember that night that during the course of a meal, like this one that was lovingly prepared for us, Jesus, surrounded by his friends, he took bread from the table and he gave thanks for it and he blessed it and he broke it and he said to those gathered with him those gathered with him now this is my body broken for you and when you eat this bread remember me and how much how much I love you. We remember that in the same manner after the supper had ended, Jesus then took a cup filled to the brim with the fruit of the vine. And he gave it to his friends, pouring it out for them saying, this is my love for you and for every person. Whenever you drink from this cup, remember my love. Remember, remember me. And so dear friends, in that same manner, we offer you the bread of new life and this cup 
of blessing. Tonight, we will experience the sacrament of communion a little differently in this circle. You will be invited to make a nice, tight circle right in this space with your bodies. So why don't you get up and make that circle. We might need to have some people fill in over here. Okay. Pastor Todd and I will come around and we will rip a piece of bread off for you and you're invited to dip it into the cup. If you're in need of a gluten-free option, we have that for you. Just place your hand on your heart and that will be the sign that we know that you need a gluten-free option. Friends, this table is open to all. There are no barriers, there are no boundaries, for all are welcome. Christ is our host and we are his guests. And so let us gather, let us remember. You want to grab your bulletins. <clears throat> and let us pray together the prayer of thanksgiving. Loving God, God great, great provider, provider, after, after this, this time together, together we, we give, give thanks for the opportunity to commune with the Christ and our neighbor. May the love that was experienced tonight through bread and cup, open our hearts to the beauty, pain, and joy across our world. May this sacrament remind us to love you, love each other, and move us to be God's love to the world. Amen. Amen.
on this holy night when we have dined together as the body of Christ and at the table commit ourselves to love and serve one another. Let us pray now for the church and for all humankind. And during this prayer, you are invited to respond as is our custom with hear our prayer. Friends, let's, let us enter into the solidarity of prayer. God, our provider, you feed us with the bread of life and lift for us the cup of blessing. On this night, Jesus gave us this holy feast. May all who gather at your table receive a foretaste of the eternal banquet. God of love, hear our prayer. Servant God, on this night, Jesus washed his disciples' feet. May we follow this example of love and service, radiating God's love to the world. God of love, hear our prayer. God of compassion, on this night, Jesus prayed for those who would believe through the message of the disciples. May those who call themselves followers of Jesus so live what they proclaim that all may come to know your unconditional love. God of love, hear our prayer. God of renewal. On this night, when there was much anxiety and fear and doubt in that room, be for us now in this room comfort, a calming breath, and wrap us in the assurance that you are with us whatever we face. God of love, hear our prayer. God, our companion. We pray for those who could not gather here with us because of illness or difficulty. For those who have transitioned from this life. And for those who have been told they are not welcome at this table. God of love, hear our prayer. God of hope, remember all those in need. Especially those we name aloud or in the silence of our heart. God of love, hear our prayer. Well, Holy One, lead us through the remainder of these holy days, the grief of tomorrow, the silence of Saturday, and into the brightness of resurrection this day and always as we pray together the words Jesus, our sibling, taught us to pray. Our loving God, who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.
wondrous love is this. Amen? Amen. Surely the presence of God is in this place. Amen? My friends, we have tasted a meal of liberation. and We have had our hands washed clean. So go from this place into the rest of this holy week and do for the world what has been done for you. And may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace that by trusting in God, you overflow with hope through the power of the Holy Spirit. Go in peace into this dark night. Amen. Thank you.